Ask Partame, it is a sweetener, is 200 times sweeter than sugar, an intense source of excitotoxins, made from two amino acids, phenylalanine, and the excitotoxin aspartate. It should be avoided at all costs. Aspartame complaints accounts for approximately 70% of all complaints to the Federal Drug Administration. It is the leading cause of diabetes, blindness, brain tumors, Parkinson's disease, Lou Gehrig's disease and convulsions. Sold under dozens of brand names such as NutraSweet and Equal, Aspartame breaks down within 20 minutes at room temperature into several primary toxic and dangerous ingredients. 1. DKP, Dicotifipyrazine. When ingested, converts to a near duplicate of a powerful brain tumor causing agent. 2. Formic acid, or ant venom. 3. Formaldehyde, or embalming fluid. 4. Methanol, causes blindness, extremely dangerous substance. Common examples, diet soft drinks, sugar-free gums, sugar-free Kool-Aid, crystal light, children's medications, and thousands of other products, claiming to be low-calorie, diet or sugar-free. Splendor, or Sucralose, was approved in April of 1998, by the Federal Drug Administration, and is non-caloric, and about 600 times sweeter than sugar, it was created in 1976, by Tate and Lyle, a British sugar company, that was searching for ways to blend sucrose on sugar, with laboratory chemicals. It's simply chlorinated sugar, a chlorocarbon. Common chlorocarbons include carbon tetrachloride, trichlorotelin, and methylene chloride. Chlorocarbon poisoning can cause cancer, birth defects, and immune system destruction. It was first used in diet RC in 1998. Sacralose has not been approved by most European countries, as it is still under review. Saccharin is about 300 times as sweet as table sugar. It is made from toluene and from petroleum. In 1977, the Federal Drug Administration took steps to ban saccharin. Tests had indicated that extremely large doses produced cancer in rats and that it may do so in people as well. However, Congress has postponed the ban. Canada has banned the use of saccharin in prepared foods. Acylfame potassium, or Acylfame K, was approved for use by the Federal Drug Administration as a safe artificial sweetener. In July 1988, it is known to produce lung tumors, breast tumors, rare types of tumors in the organs such as the thymus gland, several forms of leukemia and chronic respiratory disease in several rodent studies by Dr. Robert Charles. There are also other artificial sweeteners to look out for that are not yet as popular here in the United States that are coming out of Indonesia. Aeltame, Cyclamate, Neotame, Isomalt, Lactiol, Maltitol, Manitol, Sorbitol and Xylitol. Going to elementary school in the 70s, I remember them taking the whole class to the dentist to have dental work done. They would also pass around paper cups containing fluoride to make us gargle with. I still remember the taste after 25 years. I've always wondered why it was the school's responsibility to do this. Living in the country sometimes means having bad water and most people think living in the city having tap water with chlorine and fluoride added is a luxury. We use tap water for making coffee. We use tap water for cooking. Dentists' ads on television always encouraged us to brush with toothpaste containing fluoride. Locally, it is routine that healthcare workers ask if you have city water when you take your child in for a checkup. If you don't, they will give your child a fluoride dose. Don't it seem like they're obsessed with giving your child fluoride? Why should they be worried about tooth decay 
when your child is going to lose their baby teeth, anyway. Fluoride has been embedded into our lifestyle, as one of our necessities. To only prevent tooth decay. A local doctor is quoted by saying that a mother should never give fluoride to a child instead of it helping to prevent tooth decay, it promotes it. Do they know something that we don't? So, what does all this mean? They want us all going around with decaying teeth. Not quite. To understand more about the necessity of fluoride, we must understand what it really is and where it comes from. Fluoride comes from fluorine, the chemical element of atomic number 9, a poisonous pale yellow gas of the halogen series. It is the most reactive of all the elements, causing severe burns on contact with skin. It is the most commonly mined in the United States, in northern Kentucky and southern Illinois. Fluoride a compound of fluorine, with another element or group, a salt of the anion F, or an organic compound with fluorine, bonded to an alkyl group. Sodium fluoride, or another fluorine-containing salt, added to water supplies, or toothpaste, in order to reduce tooth decay. From Funk and Wagnall's new encyclopedia. Fluorine and many fluorides, such as hydrogen fluoride and sodium fluoride, are very poisonous. Drinking water containing excessive amounts of fluorides causes the enamel of the teeth to become brittle and to chip off, leaving a stained or mottled effect. However, the proper proportion of fluorides in drinking water has been found to reduce tooth decay substantially. If it is poisonous and the most reactive of all the elements, why should we even be taking a chance with it in the first place, let alone putting it in toothpaste and drinking water? I believe I'd rather take my chances with decaying teeth and not be a walking time bomb. Speaking of bombs, fluoride was the key chemical in atomic bomb production. Massive quantities of fluoride, millions of tons, were essential for the manufacture of bomb-grade uranium and plutonium for nuclear weapons throughout the Cold War. One of the most toxic chemicals known. Fluoride rapidly emerged as the leading chemical health hazard of the U.S. atomic bomb program, both for workers and for nearby communities. As I mentioned earlier, that I could still taste the fluoride they gave us in school, but I didn't mean it literally. But what if I really do? The first visible sign of excessive fluoride exposure, according to the U.S. National Research Council. The signs are whitish flecks or spots, particularly on the front teeth, or dark spots or stripes, in more severe cases. A friend was telling me, how a political figure here in my hometown had been admitted to the hospital after becoming very sick. After finding out it was the tap water he was drinking, he was told to stop drinking it and to not tell anyone else about it so that it wouldn't cause panic. UK-based website of headlines. Thursday the 23rd of March 2006. Scientists urge lower limits on fluoride. Some scientists are reportedly urging federal limits on fluoride in drinking water be lowered. The scientists say high levels of naturally occurring fluoride in drinking water are leaving some children at risk of tooth enamel damage and adults prone to weakened bones that could lead to fractures.